Michael, this is oh. when Storm are better. And I feel sorry, Storm, they can do more of that. Everything the Stars do, that's another miss from Radaman. And they're really letting Surrey Storm off the hook here. Remember, Mahami was the one that won most of the ball in that first quarter. You want her on the court. That was a better hand, wasn't it? Oh, it's a good shot, big shot Lovely. by Radaman. Drake Lewis clearly wasn't happy with that ball, and it's unlike her to miss those shots in the post. You know, she's shooting at 90% this season. That was such slick play from seven stars. They just absolutely ping the ball around again. We always talk about this cat and mouse thing. Just because something worked in the first quarter doesn't mean you rest on your laurels. You attack them again. You go for something different. Just when I talked about Seven Stars mixing it up. I mean, I'm not, I'm not sure that was a hell ball. Uh, it was a big ball in from Leah Goss. Keith does so well to keep it. But I mean, you saw the direct play from Leah Goss. And just to open up something. Oh, Mahami, great footwork to get around. Oh, but that switch, did you see that? Joe Tripp came around on the inside. Seven stars looking to cement it in the next couple of rounds. That's a hard hit down on the floor by Rebecca Airy. That's dangerous play, that's a two minute suspension. Yeah, and it is a two minute suspension for Sophie Drakeford Lewis. Oh! It wasn't the finish that the home crowd were hoping for. But the fans here at Surrey were magnificent tonight. But it is seven stars that take the victory. Their ninth goal, their ninth win, excuse me, of the season takes them up to 27 points. They now have a nine point gap between the chasing sides in the Netball Super League table.